Hello, we are discussing about gate 2015 ECE paper. Look at the circuit diagram. The circuit consisting of three diodes D1, D2, D3. They are ideal in nature and the inputs E1, E2 and E3. The input values may be either at 0 volts for logic 0 and 10 volts for at logic 1. So what is the logic gate expression this circuit represents? Okay. So what is the function? generated by this logic gate circuit that we are going to check and these are ideal diodes we must remember that one ideal diode characteristics ideal diode act as short circuit when forward bias and open circuit when reverse bias and the meaning of forward bias is whenever p side voltage is more positive than n side voltage then the diode is said to be in forward bias otherwise if the p side voltage is less positive than n side voltage then the diode is said to be in reverse bias okay so we are going with the possibilities so first of all we are going for these three cases e1 e2 e3 there are eight possibilities you may get so first possibility i am saying that one first one is e1 is at zero that is logic low and e2 e3 are going to be at logic one so if E1 is going to be at logic 0 at that time, diode 1 is going to be acting as forward bias since 0 volts is connected towards N side of the diode and P side is connecting with 10 volts. So P side is more positive than N side. So diode 1 becomes forward bias and diode 2, this side is 10 volts and this side is 10 volts. For diode D2 and D3, this since it is forward bias, a current flows in p to n direction so the current direction is flowing in this direction from 10 volts so there is a drop takes place across this 1 kilo ohm and the remaining is going to be present at p side so definitely the p side is going to be lesser than n side voltage for d2 and d3 so d2 will be reverse bias and d3 is also in the reverse bias mode okay so if from this one if e2 is at 0 or other two are going to be at 10 volts or if E3 is going to be 0 or other two are at logic ones that is nothing but always one of the diode is going to becoming forward bias is definitely other two diodes will be reverse bias ok so at least one of the diode is going to be under forward bias so this condition that makes D1 D2 D3 are going to be diodes so that this is the current I flowing through this resistor 1 kilo ohm so d1 will be forward bias d2 reverse bias d3 reverse bias so current flows whenever current flows there is a voltage drop taking place across 1 kilo ohm and it is going to be grounded this is also acting as short circuit so diode act as short circuit and that is connected to ground so entire 10 volts is going to be dropped across 1 kilo ohm itself so v0 will be treated as directly connecting to ground so current flows and V0 will be connected to ground so this is 0 volts not only for this one ok E1 can be anything if E2 is 0 or E1 E2 can be anything if E3 is 0 if one of the input is going to be 0 by that time output is going to be definitely 0 because either one of the diode is going to be out of these three one of the diode is going to be coming forward bias and that forward bias diode makes entire 10 volts has to drop across 1 kilo ohm only so that current flows and output voltage will be equal to 0 only the case you will get is nothing but if all the inputs are going to be at logic 1 if all the inputs are at logic 1 all three diodes are under reverse bias condition whenever all three are at reverse bias at that time no current flows when no current flows at that time no voltage drop is going to be taking place so i into r is going to be zero zero voltage drop is going to be treating a short circuit so simply this resistor is going to be now treated as a wire so that 10 volts is going to be directly appear across v0 node now v0 will be treated as 10 volts so 10 volts is nothing but logic one so if one of the input is going to be zero output is zero if all the inputs are going to be at logic 1 then only output is 1 that is nothing but it is going to be acting as 3 input and gate 
we know the and operation and is nothing but logical multiplication so output will be 1 only when all the inputs are going to be at logic 1 so this works as 3 input and gate the circuit is going to be working as 3 input and gate thank you